Welcome back to What Are Tea Noobs with General Disturbance. This is a T-28. It's a Tier 8 American tank destroyer. It's located on the south spawn of Abbey and it's under the command of RNG's Toxis. The mission is simple. Destroy them all. Well, <laughs> yes, I suppose it is. Okay, well, um, the T-28, it's been... It's a peculiar vehicle in a sense and always bumped into a 5100 who's not happy about that because he turned his turret um what can i tell you about this vehicle well at one time it was called the t95 then it was called the t28 and then it was called the t95 again it's basically the same vehicle as the one at tier 9 uh it's just it's a different at a different point in time it was called the t28 and then other times it was called the T-95. It was part of a project to build a heavy assault gun that would knock down the Siegfried line on the way into Germany. But it was a bit late in being designed and as a consequence it was never ready before the end of the war and the Siegfried line was overtaken and uh, broken through without it. Now in the game they've got a 120mm gun uh, if it's got the top gun, and he has, 400 alpha, 248mm of penetration with standard AP, and that goes up to 297 with the APCR. But in reality, the T28 actually only had a 105mm gun. It didn't have anything bigger than that, and so the 155mm gun they've mounted on the T95, uh, that's pure fiction. Mind you, uh, if you've um, followed our channel, we do often mention this because Sophie Line, she's been down to Fort Benning on a regular basis and she was there when they put the additional set of tracks on the outside of the T-28, turning it into a T-95. Well, really, basically, it's a T-95 even without the set of tracks. Um, but she was there and she, she was also there when it was being moved about and right, he's got some nice little enemies there to fire at, RNG. See how much damage he can do. Well, there's a Striv S1 up there. First shot, 430 hit points with standard AP. Yeah, that guy's going to be a bit worried at the moment. He can overmatch that guy's armor. He's only got 30 millimeters of armor, that Striv. So he really needs to run away as quickly as possible. So if he stays there, he's going to die. And he has died. It just goes to show that I was absolutely right. He couldn't stay there. Not with that sort of gun facing him. Oh, now, where did that shell go? Did it hit the Lurva? Or did it hit the target? He's got a Wizzy 12012 now. And he hits that guy. A low roll. And the Lurva finishes him off. Going for the strip. Another strip. He gets a low roll again. I don't know where this voice is coming from. It sounds very funny. It's not your usual voice. Let's have a look. Oh, Lerva. Yes, he'll easily pen that guy. And he's not going to get through the tracks. And another shot into the M449 Liberté. And keep him tracked. That's it. And he's gone. Okay, the Pajetto's going to be next if he's not careful. And he's now been tracked. <laughs> I think this is the voice from one of the uh, of the Brawl command, clan commanders or something like that. Oh, into a grapple. Yeah, easily going through the armor. Pajetto's really don't have very good armor. And he's bounced the shot. And there you go. He's killed the Pajetto. That's three kills now for RNG as Toxis. I think he's going to have a quick look and see. Oh, no, he doesn't need to shoot into the Abbey grounds because they've all died. He's having a quick look at the front of his vehicle to see what damage was done. And it's minimal. In fact, uh, there was only one penetration. That was from the Pajetto before he went around the corner. I'm pretty sure that the voices we were hearing were from one of the Brawl Commanders, you know, the uh, Brawl 
uh, competition. He, RNG is Toxis must have won the competition or been one of the, the winners. And so he gets a, a, a commander's voice in the name of uh, his clan commander, his broad commander. Anyway, I'll leave links to Sophie Lyons' website so you can go and see the video showing the real thing. There's only one in existence because the only other one was actually taken off and I believe it was lost somewhere. It was, uh, I think it was wrecked on a range somewhere. So there's only one in existence and it's at Fort Benning and it's going to be in a museum very soon so you'll be able to go down there and see it for yourself see the huge machines they've got some lots of really good metal at the uh, the National Cavalry and um, Armour Museum and Sophie's videos are actually very good on seeing the real metal and she loves getting up close to the, the, the real thing I don't blame her actually I'm, seeing a, an actual tank and touching it and feeling it you do get a sense of almost, you know, it's like uh, gives you a connection with the, um, the the vehicle that you actually fight with. And that's it. The game's over. So 3.6k of damage. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats and we'll see how well he did. Here's the end of battle results for RNG as Toxis in the T28. He managed to get an ace tanker in that game. He also got a bruiser for getting at least five critical hits. He managed to get seven. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. He got a high caliber as well. He did the most damage in that game overall. At least 20% of the enemy hit pool. And he also got a tanker sniper for getting the most damage at a range of at least 300 meters. And that has to be at least eight shots with 85% accuracy. So very good shooting in that game. Especially on those strips who should have just run away the moment they started getting getting hold but I suppose they might have had their engines damaged and that's why they just couldn't get away but it, they should have realized when you've got a T28 firing at you like that you can't stick around for very long because he is going to penetrate you he's going to overmatch your armor and you're going to suffer let's have a look at team score 5006 hit points of damage he didn't get 3.6 he got 5006 hit points of damage in that game so there was a couple of shots that weren't recorded because they were fired at a target that was outside his range he also uh, the next high scorer was the isu 152 with 2506 so it's that's nearly half the amount he's got and after that it was the t103 on the enemy team with 1925 so tank destroyers did well in this battle all round when it came to kills he got the highest number with three the next high scorers being the bat chap rask with two kills the lerva the isu 152 on his own team and the progetto and the object 274a on the enemy team and when it came to base xp yes he's got that one as well so he's got the top in all three columns 1350 went to rng as toxics 965 went to the isu 152 a24 went to the progetto he fired 15 rounds in that game, got 14 direct hits and 13 penetrations, damage of 5,006 hit points, of which 2,520 were at more than 300 metres. Four hits received, only one of which penetrated, and that was the shot from the Progetto. Three non-penetrations, and he was very well angled to avoid those shots going through. 940 hit points of damage blocked by the armour. Six enemy vehicles were damaged, three were killed, and 140 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 42,749 credits, and after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, he still made a profit of 22,448 credits altogether. 1,350 XP, 4,050 from personal reserves, took away 6,075 experience points altogether. So a very good game there from RNG is Toxis. And as I said, I will leave a link uh, to uh, Soapy Line's um, site so you can actually go and see the, the real T28 uh, stroke T95 and uh, see what it really looks like and she's actually got a video where she was inside it as well yeah she went with rob coogan the director of the museum and went inside the the t28 stroke t95 to have a look and see what it actually looks like and this is quite um roomy but there again they have actually um taken out a lot of the kit that was on the inside like the ammo racks and the shells and everything else that went with it being a tank 
But uh, I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. Thank you for watching.